Alright guys, smash that like button if you enjoyed the intro. Once again, we are in La Quinta in a closed urbanization in a complex called the Spanish Corner. Thanks to Alex Petrov, who is the exclusive lister of this stunning beauty. He's also the partner at Soul Villa. And we are touring quite a few of his listings lately, which is a great pleasure. Now guys, this is street level entrance. We have an enormous entry to the house. We already get to see the wooden slats and a massive door that we're going to be discovering. But let's first talk about the back of the house. Beautifully landscaped. We have a little sofa bench there to enjoy the afternoon sun, as well as a passageway that leads to your garden swimming pool area. Fantastic. Let's continue to this side of the house because we have cobblestone laid out drive in here that guides you straight into your three car garage separated by the floor lighting space one two and three and of course some cupboards to store you know car related things and if you turn the camera around again the hacienda style inspired home here is gorgeous and we already get to see the stone clad olive trees the entire charm of this house and a massive entry and ladies and gentlemen i'm so proud to say once again with the other property that we toured for Alex some time back, it was the home with the first and only swimming pool television setup. And this home with the special feature is the house with the biggest entry door we've literally ever seen on our channel. Apparently it weighs three quarters of a ton and it's six meters tall. I mean, let's have a look at it. <laughs> no, I wasn't kidding when I said it's huge. So guys, if this is the biggest entry door you have ever seen, not only on our channel, but on all property tour channels, which you shouldn't be watching, then do let us know by giving us a thumbs up and giving us a comment. By the way, it is also a pivoting door. So I imagine that the steel rod has to be dug in like an anchor in the floor as well as in the ceiling to hold the three quarter of a ton door. I mean, that's already epic and giving us an indication of what to expect on today's tour. We have five bedrooms of which two are upstairs, one is here and two in the basement with a lot of fun amenities. I'm not going to spoil it guys, but trust me, it's worth it. Stay till the end. You're going to love it. 660 square meters of build area. Let's explore this stunning setting first. But before we do, the door was such a focal point of, of the entry. To be honest, this is as well. We have the swimming pool, the stepping stones, and of course, gorgeous sea views from the main entry foyer, staircase that connects the three floors. And yeah, a lot to look at. Let's look at this area first. Come on, I love this place. It's warm, it's charming. We've got the wooden floor and a herringbone pattern laid out. And of course, Patrick is pointing at uh, the office that I would love to show you guys real quick. The fact that it is integrated in the space and the layout here is phenomenal because when you work here, you can still keep an eye on your children. You can still communicate. You've got fantastic sea views and just the sheer beauty of this room, the wallpaper, the stones, the open shelving, the indirect lighting here. Wow. I mean, this is a perfect space for you to come and work. And if you need more privacy, you can, of course, close the space down as well. Now we do find the dining table right here with a bench made wooden table. We've got eight seats. Once again, the light fixtures in this house are phenomenal. Backdrop here, we've got framed in nice pictures. It's just a style that is throughout. It's warm and it really speaks a little bit Espanol. I hope you guys understand what I mean. Here we have the lounge area, living room section. Nicely subdivided with the rug laid out, two couches, a massive coffee table with natural stone and this entire TV mount, which fascinates me, kind of just created for the TV setup fireplace underneath, indirect lighting once again, open shelving in the wood. And yes, you're probably seeing it. 
the kitchen just there. Your dinner table set up here with six chairs, heavy duty, of course, a champagne sink just there, and a very elegant kitchen. I love it. We have meal appliances, as you can find numerously put or built into the cupboards here. There we would have a Miele fridge. The color combo of the entire kitchen is fantastic. We've got these golden handles as well that just pop up and give more elegance to the kitchen as well as the yeah, see-through doors that display your wines with a mirror backdrop, giving the illusion that there's actually more, which is a little bit trippy because there are only four sets and it looks like there are eight on one shelf. Moving forward here, we just have more storage space. I don't know if you're getting that, Patrick, but that in the kitchen is always needed for your seasoning. Soft clothes as well. And you get to see the handles, the golden handles. If it's not overused, gold adds a touch of elegance and poshness. Here we have the sink. Once again, the kind of polished golden looking tabs, more storage, bin, bin, bin there's so many bins in this house and of course here as well your dishwasher and your gas cooker in this kitchen island here also from Miele with the extractor nicely built in right there that comes out and sucks in all the smelly stuff that you're cooking overall a fantastic kitchen we also have a light slot on the ceiling illuminating the space as well as recessed lights and a window that brings natural light into the space Beautiful, Patrick. I said so much about this kitchen. Give us your verdict. It looks very heavy, but at the same time, it flows, which by itself is already a master quest to do. You know what? You're so right. And I love the backdrop there, which is on the same porcelain as the countertop we find here. And once again, the indirect lighting that illuminates the entire backdrop, the light fixtures dangling down. An elegant, fresh looking kitchen, huh? For sure. And the champagne sink, this time with cava in. So it kind of getting there with the champagne. We're one step closer. Slowly, but surely. Next champagne sink, we're gonna have champagne in it. Voila. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will show you the outdoor areas. Usually we save it for the last, but in this moment, I would say we do the basement last because it's really epic come on now this would be your partially covered terrace area of course you have a lounge section right there you've got speakers inbuilt to the ceiling and just a lot of charm and i can't get over it how stunning the views are from here now ladies and gentlemen before we talk about the swimming pool let's take a few stairs down because we have two levels here on this terrace garden area and right here i would love to show you guys this gazebo outdoor kitchen basically this is like your entire kitchen living room area we've got this entire setup here with your sinks we've got ice makers washing machine another fridge and a fur dinkum ruby gas barbecue grill right here and you just have to put it into your mind into your creative mind you come here in summer the sun is shining i'm saying summer by the way it's january how many degrees did we measure today patrick 24. it's 24 degrees in january so literally now in january you would be eating outdoors you've got your outdoor dining table right here you cook up some burgers and enjoy your alfresco dine now let's just quickly put the attention to this staircase that leads down to two for the bedrooms which are in the lowest level we'll explain them later and of course you also have a little bit of garden section to suntan or whatever you need to do now moving forward here we would also have a little gas pit chill section. So here the fire would be burning. You come here, maybe when the sun is starting to set, drink a beer, relax, or sit by the bar set up here and speak to the person right there in the swimming pool. A fantastic spot to just enjoy your outdoor living because that's what it's all about. Now we also have a champagne sink here. You're seeing that in the detail shots as well as a fridge. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's continue back that way. What a gorgeous day, ladies and gentlemen, to tour another fantastic property for you guys. We love our job and if you enjoy watching it, do make sure to show your appreciation. This is the couch chill section I spoke about right at the beginning of the outdoor section. 
and of course your swimming pool right here the stepping stones to cross over to the other side of the landing and what i love are these tiles it's kind of like a barley colored tiling that just makes this water look so fresh and kind of inviting to jump in if you get what i mean and here is uh, the entire window facade that i spoke about the main entry for you is there so you do get an understanding how the water here when the sun hits it specifically will create dappled light inside of the house creating this dramatic scenery of light play we also have here a second level of the swing pool with your swing pool sun lounge beds partially covered in water and they're actually fantastic because you're kind of in the right cool temperature of the water whilst you're enjoying the sun you also have a uh, two waterfall edges at the swimming pool which you're seeing in the drone shots and of course another terrace section here where you can come and suntan this one also leads to the first bedroom of five that we will be showing you so let's start the tour of bedroom number one bedroom number one might be my favorite because it's level with the garden and i always have this fantasy of waking up in the morning in a super warm sunny morning and jump right into the swimming pool that is my absolute dream bed is nicely centered we've got this entire console built in the backdrop with the wooden countertop here the wallpaper you get to see some kind of andalusian spanish inspired deco running through a little working desk here just slight elegant decoration not overwhelming i love it personally it is a super easy going decor patrick come closer because we would be entering through this door and we also have some cupboards here and of course your ensuite toilet let's have a quick look the basins here are beautiful we have the two sink on the vanity here the drawers set up just underneath and of course there we have the shower which you're seeing in the detail shots i was gonna say in the drone shots but it's not a drone shot it's a detail shot now you'll be understanding where we are again but before you zoom out too fast patrick there is a guest toilet that we need to show our audience. Now we're back at the entry for you and I'm going to be taking Patrick, stop <laughs> Patrick's bullying. Perfect. Me. Now I'm taking a corridor back to the entry for you and I'll be taking this elegant staircase up to the first floor to show you two further bedrooms. And then we will go down to the basement, which is filled with absolute goodies. I'm sure you'll love it. Let's go. And in the meantime, subscribe, like our video and uh, let us know what you think of the home so far. Bedroom number two. It's not the main bedroom yet, so hold your horses. Let's have a look into the cupboards. This would be, of course, the place where you put all your clothes, indirect lighting, and the shelves here. I was actually tricked by it. They're not two separate ones, they're one. Do you not get bad. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And I like the, the color palette throughout the house. It's refreshingly different. Now, of course, we also have here your ensuite bathroom, Antonio Lupi sink, vanity with two sinks, actually drawers just underneath. And once again, the shower there just opposite and the toilet. Now, I would like to point out that the door as well looks super nice, kind of classical, adding yeah. to the charm. I like it a lot, yeah. rippled. And finally, we see normal doors again. <laughs> no pocket doors. That's also a normal door right oh, there. It really is good for my Stop heart. it, Patrick. We have this battle going on between open, I mean, normal doors and pocket doors. And I'm a big fan of pocket doors. Patrick likes traditional doors. Anyways, let's move on. We had that discussion. The light fixtures here are so cool. We've never seen them before. We also have this like plates paneled on the wall, giving character to the room. The bed is nice and centered. And this kind of like Japan the in like Japandi style. It's like Andalusian Japandi. Yeah, Japandi style uh, bedside table present here as well. Super nice. And of course, this bedroom also enjoys a balcony here. Come here for your morning coffee. Observe the beauty of the view. Do some meditation, some yoga. You know everything you do in the morning. Besides lying in bed grumpy and staring at your phone and scrolling through social media, you could actually alternatively do something useful. And or watch the Mauer Brothers. And don't forget okay. to like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Talking about social media. The plot extends all the way downwards. I'm sure you get to see it from the camera angle here as well. 1,200 square meters plus. And you also get the beautiful view of your swimming pool, the gazebo down there. Just like a bird's nest view. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the main bedroom. Patrick? 
Yes, I also think it's a good oh. uh, time to mention that uh, the video Big Daddy is just around the corner here. Yeah. So this whole area is newly built and it's is called El Herojo Alto and it's a gated community in La Quinta and both of the urbanizations are in one and they're both double gated. Does that make sense? If it doesn't, ask Alex, your lister agent for this property and many more. Yeah, but what I like about here is that everything is new. Yeah. And everything is uh, finished now and... It's double gated. Yeah, it's double gated. Super, let's continue now to the main bedroom. Perfect. Vamos. Now, before we cross over to the main bedroom, let's take a little break and appreciate the picture window the slats that you see through them, and of course, the six meter, three quarter of a ton door, which is still taller than I am being on the first floor. I think that's ridiculously big and pretty damn cool. We also have light coming from here, and of course, the visibility that continues throughout, so you're never missing that gorgeous view. And right up front is the main bedroom. Let's explore it. Now, this is the divisional wall that divides the bedroom with the corridor. And basically, you walk in closet nicely styled in. If you come a little bit closer, Patrick, I would like to point out the indirect lighting, the drawer setup underneath with the LED strips illuminating whatever you put here. Just a gorgeous element to point out. And of course, the herringbone wooden floor continues here. Now, before we go to the bathroom where Patrick is already in, let me quickly point some key facts about the main bedroom. Come on. Starting off with the classical trim that we have on the walls here, giving this home more of a elegance, if I may to say that. And of course, the exposed wooden beams that we find here, the ceiling height has a depth, the bed nicely positioned in the center. And once again, we find these very interesting light fixtures that illuminate the space. We have wallpaper drop. This entire mound is the divisional wall and behind it are the cupboards I explained to you and the main entry is there for you guys to get an understanding of the orientation of this place. We're skipping the terrace, Patrick, or what's going on? So when is the bathroom? Terrace first. Bathroom first. Bathroom first, then come with me. We're back in this section here. That also guides you straight into your ensuite bathroom and I cannot get over it how sexy this one sink vanity is that stretches all the way from one tap to the other it's a heavy duty marble right underneath we have the drawer set up and of course backsplashed we have the same natural stone that's been water treated to create this ridges in between and the entire basic niche in which it's been put also is surrounded by the same natural stone. You've got the indirect lighting, big mirror set up. And when you brush your teeth, you look at yourself and if you're not too vain, you'll look away from you and see the sea. Pretty cool. Bathtub is also freestanding here with the continuous view outwards. I know I say view a lot, but come on, at the end of the day, you're paying big bucks and you want the view to be there. Now this would be your cave style shower area. We've got Hansen Gruer taps and fittings, rain shower from above. Of course, a door that can be opened and it serves two purposes. Continue with the view and of course, open for air. And just the beautiful marble throughout in this bathroom is epic. And this would be a toilet. And best of all, you can close it with a door and open a window. I mean, boom. This would be your terrace. You've got two sun beds and of course, the perfect positioning to enjoy. Once again, the view. Every time I say view, guys, you gotta give us a comment and like and share the video. Or take a shot. Or take a shot, <laughs> yeah. A shot of uh, ginger. Ginger shot to keep it nice and healthy. I was Let's thinking continue. about vodka, actually. Yeah, Patrick, come on. This is PG-13 here. We have uh, all ages watching us. For the adults, let it be alcoholic. For the younger generation, let it be a ginger shot. That's a fair compromise, no? Okay. Let's continue. We've seen three bedrooms, a beautiful consolidated style, a designer kitchen, living room area, dining area, the outdoor area. Now, 
everything's perfect and you'd be thinking what a beautiful home but you are going to pay seven and a half million for this property and for that you need that little bit of extra and boy the lowest level offers just that it's what convinced me and made me question whether seven and a half is not too little let me show you why nice indirect lighting to illuminate the stairs once again the lighting and technical part has been done by illusion now check this out you've got your tv set up right here massive tv to be quite frank nicely mounted on the wall this kind of looks like plastered cement on it as well giving it more of an organic feel coffee table indirect lighting this is where you'd be binging the maro brothers if you're not yet doing so massive lounge chairs here as well and your bar area i mean check this out this is like in a five-star hotel somewhere but it's not it's in your own basement you've got the open shelving nice display of alcohol indirect lighting everything's out of wood giving you that Don't warm no alcohol but, patrick careful different ginger shots ginger <laughs> Anyways, you've got your entire bar set up here, which is pretty epic. A sink, the countertop to work from, maybe a little pulled here for the DJ. Super elegant light fixtures dangling down. I love this place, especially for entertainment. To continue, we have a pool table set up here. And what cannot be missing in a luxurious home would be your wine cellar, which is right here with the natural stone backdrop here, the open shelving, and of course, the air conditioning cooling system also installed and if you just want to turn the camera on i think the way this has been mounted into the wall with the exposed stone is just gorgeous and of course they went and filled this wine cellar with wines and reptilians do you see this what is this is this a dinosaur human or a reptilian it's a reptilian there. That is some Five weird years. stuff. Right? Very weird, but I'm sure it's quite the exquisite wine. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you might be thinking, okay, did Dominic overplay the awesomeness of the basement? No, he did not. We've seen TV, lounge area, bar, entertainment area. There's also this entire full functional gym. Let me just quickly explain you what we have. We have a sort of freestyle setup from El Ico here. You can train anything from your legs to your biceps, triceps, back, hands, whatever you want. You can literally do that on this multi-use freestyle setup. I think it's pretty awesome. With this, you don't need to go to a gym. Free weights are also present. We've got a bench press setup here as well. You don't need a gym membership, ladies and gentlemen. Free weights are to be found here. You also have a treadmill and a bicycle. It's kind of boring. But nicely executed led strips right above mirror setup these slats here what there's more of course your entire spa section cannot be missing in a luxurious home in a spanish corner let me start first and foremost we've got a sauna love saunas let's jump in real quick because it's a real beauty and it's spacious we could easily fit in like i probably say 10 people 10 sweaty and smelly people if that's what you like you can do that in this sauna nice lounge chair just in front of me and of course a shower massage section right here and your whirlpool here tv setup once again brick layout as well on the walls i did not know this existed and i was so pleasantly surprised we also here you turn around just have a cold bath as well which nowadays is super hyped so basically you'll be freezing and then you jump in there and freeze a little bit more and freeze a little bit more and it has these health benefits but super cool guys let us know what you think of this space as it was a superb surprise for us and i'm sure you think the same now if we close this door it also kind of looks like it's seamlessly integrated into I the like wall i like how you touch everything don't you? of course if someone buys it they will know i touch a lot of things in this house so why ah 
I'm organoleptic. Let's I'm continue. Also. I just noticed something, Patrick. Come, let's talk about the house and not why I'm so weird. Just talking about the detailing, the slats at the lower base of this entire mount also have indirect lighting. Nothing is just a nice little touch to it. And there's more because at the far end we have two for the bedrooms. Let's go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, down this path we have firstly this room, which is your laundry room. You've got a sink, space to work from, of course, cupboards, storage spaces, two dryers, two washers, and very sterile looking light system to really bring this place alive when you're here ironing and doing your laundry. There are four washers. They're identical. No, of course. This is the T1 Excellence Eco Speed and Steam. This is a dryer. And this is your power washer, Twin DOS. So you have two power washers and two power steam dryers. Oops, someone didn't do their homework. Now, here we have two separate bedrooms, nicely closed in with this door, giving it all much more privacy. Bedroom number four, let's look. Covered areas to my right and this super nice bathroom, two sink vanity setup, drawers underneath the shower just there, mirror nicely trimmed in, recessed in lightings, everything's the same. My brother in a mirror reflection, Looking scruffy a little bit with your hair, Patrick. What's going on? It's a new style. It's a new like, style. It's like the more modern style. <laughs> more modern style. Okay, let's talk about the bedroom. We've got a nice black trim to divide the two color toned wall. Of course, your bed frame here in a Spanish style. And of course, the same style and design throughout and an access point out to a little terrace. Now, ladies and gentlemen, bedroom number two on the lowest level, which would also be the fifth bedroom is just there. Let us show it to you. Now, let's not forget that we have a lot of cupboards here to store maybe your winter clothes or whatever you need it for. It is present and I'm happy that this house has a lot of it. Bedroom number five, let's go. Of course, all bed... <laughs> <laughs> of course, all bedrooms are ensuite. This will be the last bathroom to show you, identical to the one we have just seen, so I'm not really gonna go into much detail. Let's leave the space. Hidden hinges, by the way, are also present and soft close in all doors. Now here we have the last bedroom, which is very similar in the style and design as the fourth bedroom we have shown. And it's just a nice consolidated continuation of the style and design. And this terrace area right here. And of course, best of all is if you take the stairs up, you've got your little landing here with your table to seats and this nice sofa which you can sit all comfortably and enjoy your morning coffee. Now at that point, I would like to say thank you for tuning in, but ladies and gentlemen, there's more in the basement, a secret room I still haven't shown you guys. So hold your horses, it's not the end yet. Do give us a like, let us know what you think of the home so far in the comment section below and let us show you a secret room right there. Come on. Now, another little surprise. You enter here to your technical room and look how elegant the technical room has been created and installed instead of just being a separate room that looks boring and machinery style they created this one with a special lighting and also kind of added it to the room as a special effect feels like going into a nightclub yeah <laughs> let's go to the club <laughs> which is not a club it's a bathroom <laughs> one thing vanity setup this would be like your guest toilet basically toilet right there Villeroy and Boch toilet with a sound isolation functionality so it's nice and quiet let's go now, to the nightclub now <laughs> wait everyone <laughs> thought I had a surprise <laughs> was the surprise the technical room and the guest toilet <laughs> it certainly was not it is this room right here your secret poker room inspired by a casino we actually have a carpet that they laid out in casinos as well your poker table right here little bar set up there you got your clover and heart and diamond shaped things here as lights fixed onto the wall wow and you also have a picture of ben siegel Right there. Did you know who that was, Patrick? Yes, he opened the first casino in Las Vegas. Yeah, but he was a big time mobster. I mean, he look at his face. Gangster. 
I wouldn't be joking around with him. Now, I read about him a little bit and he used to be smuggling alcohol in a prohibition time in America. And when they did the 21st or 2nd Amendment and made it legal again, he lost a lot of his business. So then he started to go to Las Vegas and he helped to open the first kind of resort style casino hotel called Flamingos. And yeah, and then he kind of defrauded some money and he was shot dead. Yeah, short lived life, but as a mobster, pretty sure he had a good time. Now, here another nice painting of a lady. Auto. Yeah, from the Flamingo Hotel. Oh wait, this might be the wife. So the wife and the husband, Ben and his wife, they apparently defrauded some money during the renovation period and the mobsters found out, the bigger mobsters and then the bosses, the bosses and they shot him in the head. But yeah, he is a, he's a legend in Las Vegas because he kind of created the footprint or put Las Vegas on a map for the majority of people. Have you seen the movie The Casino? Yes. That's a, cool one. That's a good one. All right. That was the last secret room, ladies and gentlemen. I truly hope it did not disappoint. I'm not disappointed with the wallpaper and the entire style and design of this room. It's cozy. It's kind of like, oh, I just want to smoke a cigar and play some poker and lose money. Yeah. Now, before we end the tour, I would like to show you that the gym was just there and you have an access point outwards to your swimming pool and gazebo area. And you also have a little bathroom here with a cute quartz looking sink. Of course, your countertop of the same as we have seen in the other bathrooms and your drawer set up just underneath. Cute kind of bathroom for the swimming pool. Yeah, it's necessary, area. right? Yeah, 100%. After taking a swim, where do you want to go? Wait, you go in there. Yeah, or you pee in the pool. Now, guys, we are coming to the end of the tour and I'm going to position myself here in the sun ah, to say thank you so much for tuning in. It was a great pleasure to once again show you a property. If you are interested, Alex is the exclusive lister of this stunning beauty. His contact details are in the description and of course the website link as well. Last words to you, Patrick. Hmm. <laughs> so oh. do you guys think I look scruffy today? Well, Be honest, guys. I think I look quite good. A little short haircut, like a little bit funky, you know, fresh. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. And see you next time. And we will just enjoy the beautiful weather uh, here in the south of Spain. We will. Peace. Peace.